What's going on guys? Welcome back to another flight tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up this nice little caddis pattern. I'm tying a bunch of these up for my buddy and I know a lot of you guys have been asking for more dry flies so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to throw a fresh hook in the vise and give a tutorial. So I'm going to do that right now and we'll get going with the tutorial. So the hook we have in the vise right now is a Mustad caddis curved hook. This is a size 10. The thread we're going to be using is UTC 70 denier in a brown olive color. And we're going to start a thread about an eye's length behind the eye. I'm just going to make some thread wraps here, cut that tag end out. And I want to dress the hook as far as my body's going to go. And I like to go deep down into this bend here to about there. Bring my thread back up. And we're going to be tying in our first material, which is going to be the body part. And it's going to be these this cat is green kind of color. Um, it's like span flex, flexi flex, super floss. Um, there's a bunch of different names for it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab one strand here. I'm gonna tie it on the side of the hook facing towards me. I'm gonna tie that in, then I'm gonna pull on it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna stretch it out and it's going to uh, create less bulk when I'm putting it, tying it into the shank here. So I'm gonna take that down to where my thread ends there. Then I'm gonna bring my thread back up, just like so. Now we're gonna tie in the rib part. Um, you can use any kind of color you want. Um, I like to use a green color. I'm gonna be using this green in a uh, small UTC ultra wire. You could use a chartreuse, you could use a black if you wanted. Um, I would just recommend saying with a small or a brassy size um, because you don't want, you wanna to try to make this fly as light as possible so it uh, stays up on the water. So I'm just gonna pull a nice little sectioned piece here. Now I'm gonna tie this in on the side of the hook facing towards the camera here. And the reason why I go all the way down and all the way back up is because I wanna keep this body um, smooth. And if I just tie everything at the bottom here, it's gonna be very bulky um, down here at the bottom. So I like to just come all the way back up and come all the way back down. Right now I'm just kinda of smoothing it out a bit. And I like to use a dark thread for the underbody part because when you're actually pulling on this um, super floss or flex, whatever you wanna call it, um, it's actually a little bit translucent and I like to uh, have like a darker thread underneath so you, it kinda of comes through. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this body material here. I'm gonna start that right down in the bend And I'm putting pretty good pressure on it right now. And I'm gonna put pretty good pressure on it all the way up the body until I hit about half. And then I'm going to um, let go a bit and actually builds it up a bit. So I'll show you when I get there. But as you can see, I'm just making a little bit overlaying wraps, pretty much touching. You don't want any, um, any thread showing. So I'm still pulling on this pretty, pretty good amount. Now when you get to about here, you can actually start letting off the pressure and it actually becomes a little bit more, well it's thick and it builds up the body a bit. So I'm just gonna pinch that for a second and bring my hook back up. Once you bring that up, you can just tie off that. Make sure you tie it off good, because um, it does tend to slip out a little bit. So as you can see there, I got the body on. You can kind of see back here a little bit more that the, uh, the, the underbody of the thread actually comes out a bit. So it kind of looks a little bit more lifelike. Now I'm just gonna grab this wire. 
Just make some open spiral wraps here. With my caddises, I like to uh, keep them a little bit tighter than I would um, just like a regular ribbed fly. Just like so. Then when you want to tie that off really nice and tight. I'm just going to helicopter that wire right out and it looks all clean. I thought I'd mention that you don't have to use this, uh, this super floss for the body part. Uh, you can just use a dry fly dubbing. This is a good uh, beginner pattern if you want to start tying uh, dries and stuff like that. It's a great pattern and it fishes really, really well and it's easy to tie. So you don't have to use that. You can just use uh, like a caddis green uh, dry fly dubbing or a tan, uh, whatever color. Um, you're trying to mimic there, but uh, I thought I'd just let you guys know that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to split our thread here. So what I'm going to do is just spin my bob, my bobbin counterclockwise. Then when you actually hold your bobbin down, it wants to spin to one side, and that's the the side you want to uh, the way you want to spin it. So I'm just going to grab my bodkin here. Just split this thread, just sometimes tricky, especially with 70 denier, just like so. So as you can see there, I split the thread part. And we're just going to put a little ice dub in here. This is just a little mixture I have with Caddis Green Ice Dub. And have a little bit of brown, brown ice dub in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull this apart so there are smaller strands. I'm just going to put it up in here. You don't need much. You just want to let go of that your finger there. And I'm just going to turn my bobbin clockwise now and that what that's going to do is going to cord up all this dubbing I have in there and before I like to turn it actually onto the thread I just kind of just pull out any of the long kind of fibers I didn't get caught and you'll end up with a little bit of a sparser um, loop here so I'm just going to turn this in here and I'm pulling back every time I make a turn just so it lays back. The ones that's in, you can just put some nice tight wraps in there. Okay, so for the wing part, we're going to be using some deer hair. I'm just going to cut off a bit of pen pencils diameter just like so and I'm actually just going to pull all these fluffies out and the parts the shorter the shorter uh, strands here I'm gonna grab my hair stacker put those tips first in there they fell out Like so, I'll just give them a little stacking. You can pull them out, then they will be all lined up. Just gonna grab that with your left hand. And the wing part's gonna be about to the back of the hook bend. So I'm just gonna put it on and kind of just put this um, deer hair almost all around the uh, the hook shank. So I'm just gonna grab two wraps, pull straight up, and then put some more down, just like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all the hair back. 
make some nice wraps in front of that. What that's going to do is just going to make a little bump there. So um, when you cut ahead, it'll just stay propped up a bit. Now at this point, you can grab your whip finish tool. Just come in and try to put a nice four or five turn whip finish in there while holding all this hair back. Just like so. Now I'm going to grab all these butts, try to pull them all out. Just like so. Now I'm just going to cut a little head here. That's kind of just a rough head right now. I can trim it up a little bit better. Now I'm just going to come with my scissors and just cut a nice flat spot out underneath here. So this is going to ride right on the top of the water. So I'm just going to come with my scissors and I'm just going to clean up this head just a bit because I like a smaller head. Cut out any long guys here. Just like so. Then you can put a dab of head cement on there so it doesn't want to roll on you. There you have it. Awesome little caddis pattern. Easy to tie. Great beginner fly. So I just cut that all nice and flat there. Hope you played tutorial guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Drop a comment if you have any questions or any comments or anything like that. Thanks a lot again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.